Hey, Nick and Bone Gang, Vinny here. So here's the situation. Me and Gary the other day, my buddy, we was out there catching some redfish, and on the way back, we seen a couple of guides, boat full of people, sitting right under a bridge catching a whole bunch of big old ginormous big uglies, big old bull black drum. So I'm like, hey, I think I want to give that a try. Wait, you hooked up too? All right, all right, one at a time, people. Dude, this is utter chaos. Wait, is it the same fish or is it two different fish? I have no idea at this point. Now we're using crack crab, which I know is to be the uh, more popular bait to catch those big bad boys. So today we're going to catch some of these crabs from this little bridge right here. So that tomorrow we can go try and catch some of them big black drum under another bridge. If you've been with the channel any length of time, you probably know how much I hate lilies. And if you look at this behind us, completely clear except for a couple little stragglers on the, uh, on the other side. Problem is, I like to crab from both sides of this bridge and... That's just stupid. First things first, probably gotta have to figure out a way to defrost the old bait. Cause uh, that's what you get for not thinking ahead. Also brought the cast net, cause uh, still been catching shrimp from here. You can use shrimp as bait. Cause then drum will also eat that. And uh, I like shrimp. I also brought a crab trap over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a chunk of this. Slap that in the crab trap. We can get that out there right now and just uh, let it soak for the meantime. And then we'll pick it up when we're done. See what we got in the old girl. Ooh, frozen solid. Uh, yeah, that ought to do. Uh, I think I want to try and get her right there, but we still need a spot to hold the float because uh, I didn't bring nothing to grab the float. Got the bait in the hole. Get the food out of here. I'm gonna try and get it in the current because some crabs use that current to move and it's moving this away. So, uh, oh uh, yeah. There we go. I'll just throw that right there and hope she stays. Guess I'll get our bait the frost a little faster. We can go ahead and soak it in some water. Probably should have brought the bucket down there so I could have filled it a little bit easier, but that's all right. We got a remedy for that. Just toss her over. Ooh, I slipped, almost died. Nope. Sheesh. There we go. All right, I managed to get a little piece uh, off of that block. I don't even know what this is. I think this might be scrap of alligator. I don't know how long it's gonna stay on this little hook thing right here, cause, uh, oh. But at least we can get something started. And hopefully they don't take off with it. This <laughs> ain't much left to this little hook. Need to get some more of them clips. It's just way easier to put the bait on. Anyway, bombs away. Definitely gonna have to check that pretty frequently. Ooh, that current is taking it. All right, it hit the ground. Oh no, now we need to find something to tie this to so we don't lose our rope. Um, That'll do it. At least till we find something better. All right, so apparently this is just a bunch of chunks of alligator. When I uh, cleaned them alligators last year, and uh, yeah, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to tie this to the net. So probably gonna have to throw the cast net and hopefully catch a little catfish or something on the cast net that we can uh, use as bait. I'm gonna try and get a couple chunks on there. I don't know how long they're gonna stay on the net, but uh, we'll figure it out. Believe you me, we gonna, gonna figure it out. I wonder if I could just tie that on there. Give it a try. Oh, great. The lilies are breaking free. I'm gonna start piling through here, knocking out my nets. Goodness gracious. Anyway, let's see if we can get this thing working. Just tie the crap out of it. We're just gonna have to check it quite often because once they start chewing it down, it's gonna slip right out of that. Yeah. All right, let's see if that works. <sighs> Woo, almost ripped it out of my hand. All right, let's go ahead and check the first one real quick because it's been sitting there a little while. It don't take long. I don't know how long that bait's gonna stay in there. And no. Well, at least the bait's still on there. All right, managed to get four of them set up and found a hole over here between the lilies that we could uh, slot it through. Got one out there already. Let's go see if we can fit this one in somewhere. Uh, nope. Well, that one might be where we're gonna put it. Cause this one looks really clogged up. Yeah, ain't doing it there. All right, we'll see if we can sneak it in on the side of this one. Oh yeah. 
There we go. Got one. And we uh we even keeping some little ones this time because we're not worried about eating them. We just need them for bait. Oh, wait, come back, buddy. And there is no size limit for recreational crabbing around here. So even this little guy would make perfect bait. <laughs> this ain't gonna take long like this, cuz. Heck yeah. These two for sure are the right size for the bait, cuz. Get in there. I guess crabs like alligator meat. Where was we? Yeah, I'm sure that's right back where it was for sure. Let's go check the other side. And no. Woo. Ain't even got the bait on this one. Must have tied that one wrong. Woo. That might be a little small for bait. Probably good for a sheephead. But that ain't what our target is, so. Alright, buddy. Go grow some more. And no. Oh, got a couple shrimp. Nothing else can feed the pool pond bass. Ooh, that feels heavy. Yep, got two. I thought it felt a little heavy. Uh-uh, come back. You got cars coming, you're gonna get run over. Let go of my shoe. Man, that dude is cutting my shoe. Hey, I'm gonna let you go. Oh, I got my other side of my shoe. Oh, yeah. Well, I tell you what, if these had any size to it, we'd be forgetting about the uh, black drum. We'd be having this other crab ball, but... Ooh, come here, buddy. Where are you going? No, oh, no, get back, get back. Dang it. Oh, this is gonna get complicated. Definitely should have not had so much ice. Ah, no, no, no! Oh. Dang. Ooh, that feels heavy. Here we go, another two. Oh, come on. Might even get out of here before it gets too hot. That's more crabs on this one. I can feel it. Oh, we got three. Look at that. No, don't come up in that yet. Don't come up in that yet. Don't come up in that yet. Sure, we almost done now. Oh, that's going to have some in there. Yeah. Look at that. That's two more. Oh, this one too. Say, hey, bro. Say, hey, bro, let it go. All right, so it is the next day. It's a little warmer today. Uh, got Frank with us, and we're in Gary's boat. If you've seen him in the last video, got the bunch of crabs from the bridge, got some shrimp. So now we're out here trying to catch these black drum by this little bridge right here. And uh, we'll see what happens. If we don't catch any drum, on to the redfish. <laughs> All right, let me give me one of these crabs. Yeah, I'm gonna need one of the half, one of the crabs. Try not to get too many juices in his, uh... Yep, about to do the same thing. I gotta start eating and then they'll stay like, oh, that's what we're doing. We're yeah, eating. that's right, yeah. that's right. They don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't realize it's breakfast time. They might still be sleeping out there. I mean, it was later. They were fishing right here at 12 o'clock. Right. It could have been the time of the day that they were, uh, they just happened to be at the right Maybe time. we should have went cut redfish first. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, you start eating. Yep, I'm gonna take it. Got him? Got one. Took one bite of the sandwich. Look at that. I told you. That's what it was. Put it down. I guess I forgot to tell y'all, but if you've seen how I did it, I cracked the crab in half, took the top shell off, cracked it in half, 
put it on a hook, toss it out there, and just let us sit while I eat my sandwich. And nothing. What you worried about, Frank? <laughs> One of them two hooks coming right in my face. <laughs> It only hurts for a little while. What you got, Frank? I got a fish. Do you? Either that or I'm hung up on the... Come on, Frank. No, he's moving. Probably a big stingray. <laughs> Come on, Frank. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Put that lunk of stick to work. You mean the monster? Oh, that's what they monster bass calls theirs? It says it right there on the rod. Right? No, I ain't, looking, <laughs> I ain't looking at what it's called. Who is your net? It's in the box. You might need a the gap. one he's standing on? Here, hold this. <laughs> Hope you don't catch two fish while he's. <laughs> Feels like he's got some sauce to him. <coughs> I'm choking on my biscuit. <coughs> Frank, you sure you ain't hooked on the bottom? <laughs> that bottom's moving pretty good. <laughs> I ain't even seen him yet. He's gotta be getting close. Uh oh. <laughs> we got two of one. We got two. So if Benny comes up, we're just gonna have. Oh, oh. Oh, I see him. Here, let me do this. <laughs> Jeez, oh, dude. Yeah. What is that drag set on? Oh, crap. <laughs> Tighten your drag a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 it's an anchor rope. God, oh, look at the size of this dude. <laughs> I don't think this net's going to work. <laughs> Get him over here. We're going to need a bigger net. We're going to need a bigger boat. Jeez. Oh. Oh. All right, got him. All right, here, Frank. Take <laughs> take over that. Jeez. Oh. Oh. All right, turn the camera around on Gary now. I'm just gonna. I don't even know where I'm at. That thing. <laughs> <laughs> you all the way in Bell Chase by now. God. Yeah, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't even know where my line is. Let me try and reel this in, so so we're not getting caught up on everything. We just just keep fighting. We'll get. <laughs> He's got to be right under us now. Okay, there we go. Um, them extra barbs on that hook worked out really good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pay attention, Frank! Pay attention, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we not we don't work as smooth as them guides do. Hey Ronald, don't, don't hold the line, you're gonna pop him. Good gosh, dude. That's another big one. Oh golly, them suckers are monsters, huh? Yeah. All right, well, since y'all are uh, playing with y'all fish, let me go try and catch another one. Catch well, another one, try to catch one. I'm stealing this half a crab right here. Man, I ain't even started drinking my coffee yet. Where is my coffee? Oh, it's right here. Man, that's why I ain't, that's why I ain't caught no fish yet. I ain't had my... It must have been that grease from the birdie's chicken I ate this morning. So you ate chicken this morning? <laughs> is it gonna be eating fried chicken for breakfast? I ain't mad at you. Just waiting on my turn, that's all. Just sitting here. Drinking coffee. I was say whenever I was holding waiting on my turn. Started feeling it driving. So what you're saying is I had one, but I sacrificed mine to help out my brothers right here. <laughs> Team player. So, Whatever makes you right. feel better. That's yeah. right. I, look, what, Frank, what are you doing, Frank? I'm trying. Frank, I cast it over yours. Frank, what are you doing? You. All right. And I, I have you on, uh, I got you on video catching your fish from beginning to end. You want it or you right? Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, the guy in the back that caught the... Uh, yeah, not you, Frank. Uh, uh, nobody, nobody cares about you, Frank. It's not about Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh, wait. Here we go. Hold on. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Come on, baby. Hey, you got a little bit of a Ooh. I got that 85-pound drag, though. I'm going to try and horse him in. Oh. <laughs> Not the rod. <laughs> well, probably. Oh, that's like if I'd have brought my snapper pole, dude. Wait, watch your line, Frank. I don't want to. Oh. oh, maybe not. Maybe not horsing him. Oh, he knows he's hooked now. Oh, yeah. Come here, big boy. 
You hooked on me, Frank? Yeah. That's fine, just... God, no. Doesn't want me to catch a fish. Oh no, that's my second hook, huh? <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Just unhook it off the deck if you can. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that might be the biggest one of the day, man. Oh, God, look at the size of it. Yeah, I want crab, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I'm over there with the crab. <laughs> oh, 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 Benny. Wait, are you hooked? Are you hooked? Yeah. Oh, he's got a fish. Hold on, hold on. I'm just going to start feeding it. Oh, Wait, it hold on. Hold on, Frank. <laughs> Hold on, Frank. Hold on, Frank. I don't know what's happening. Wait, I don't... No, he's on there. He's going to pull and this hook's going to go right in my finger. Of course, it's not going to be that simple. I think you're free. I think you're free. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Is he still on there? Yeah. <laughs> he's on there? Yeah. Good. Yeah, he didn't know he was hooked yet. Wait, you hooked up too? All right, one at a time, people. <laughs> it makes for a good video. <laughs> Jeez, oh, I might be connected to you. Help him bring it in. Teamwork. Hey, oh, oh, the oh. Same <laughs> Dude, this is utter chaos. Wait, is it the same fish or is it two different fish? I have no idea at this point. They started running at the same... Oh, we're drifting. We're definitely drifting. Oh. All right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Let's try not to <laughs> try not to flip the boat. Are we? I don't even know what's going on. This is all. Let me try not to. I don't know. All right, what do we do? The trolling motor. Do do? Yeah, let me get the trolling motor. <laughs> nope, I think. No. Oh, it's hanging line. I'm just caught on you. Whew, are we still alive? We're gonna flip this boat. <laughs> Somebody take a step back. <laughs> what y'all got going on over there? Likes everybody's God, dude, these fish are massive. <laughs> Don't forget about him. Sorry. He got to go oh, nice. Oh, 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 he's going up the anchor line now. There you go. Jeez, I want to go over there to see, but I'm pretty sure we'll flip the boot if I... <laughs> all three of us are right there. Right. <laughs> Hang on, I'm about to take him out of the water for a second. Okay. God, that's such a big fish. <laughs> He's gonna be ready as soon as you flip him over and as soon as he knows. Ooh, oh. that drum, dude, man, it's so deep. Come on, David, whenever you're ready. There you go. You ready? There you go. That's so awesome. All right, so as you can see, it's plumb full in there. Got them three drum. We can't keep any more. Usually, people, a lot of people don't keep these because there's a lot of worms in them, but we're gonna figure that out. Worms don't necessarily bother me, I'll cut them out. And uh, even if I don't cut them all out, people can't catch them anyway. You just cook them. It's like little spaghetti noodles in your meat. But uh, anyway, we decided in, uh, instead of sitting there catching drum that we can't keep, I need food. He needs food. We know Gary always likes to have that, that, that red fish. So we're going to go back to the spot that me and Gary fished last time, see if we can't pick up on a couple of reds. And uh, it's going to be a good time. All right, I've never had a video that successful that early in the day. So... I don't even know what to expect now. Chances are we're probably left that spot. We're not gonna see another fish the rest of the morning. But if that's the case, we're gonna blame Gary because he wanted to he wanted to leave. I just saw one tail. Where? And that on the other side. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get up in there. See how deep it is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Yep. Ugh. It's hard trying to control that trolling motor. <laughs> Come here, big boy. Ooh. He is not happy. Hey, yeah. Uh, woo! What you did this I time? I just tried to put it reverse. Uh, all right. Well, today is a good day, fellas. Things are working out. We might even. We had to get back home with a box full of fish before we even break a sweat. Gary, thanks for um, making us leave that other spot. Gary, it was a great idea to leave once we got our drum to come uh, try and catch redfish. 
Boy, <laughs> Frank, Frank's only a swinging for the fences when he sweats since that look. <laughs> Dude, if, if there is a fish, you're gonna rip his mouth off. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Almost lost the net! Jeez, um. Come here, partner. Hold on. Hold on. That's the only ones I catch, you know, perfect size red, <laughs> the perfect size ones. I got one of those, like, I got a blue, like a metal kind of. <laughs> you got what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you call it, a measuring stick? <laughs> he, said, yeah. he said, I got one of those blue uh, metal, sort of. <laughs> so that's all I understood. All your friends talk Yeah, about, you know? I know, man. It's like, y'all on drugs, having a stroke? What's going on around here? <laughs> hmm? So we just spent <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like Gary where are we going bro yeah, <laughs> like we've been fishing the same spot for five minutes <laughs> Try to relive, uh... he's like I know the fish is here I got the gold spoon he's like I know it's here I told you. come on I told you. come on <laughs> oh, little rat red little baby rat red. I you that's all right. hey that's all right that's all right <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, dude, we fished in the spot for 20 dang minutes. I'm like, where's Gary taking this? Gary's like, I know he's here. Gary's like, they had one here last time. There must be one here this time. This spot's usually good for at least one. Oh, oh, tight. No, wide. There we go. All right, guys, we're at the launch. Got the fish all cleaned up, but I want to show you what I was talking about with the worms. All right, we got four different fish. This here is the redfish. Obviously meat looks very similar, if not the same as the black drum. There's no worms in this one. Now these are the black drums. And like I said, when they get that big, they tend to get worms. That's what this thing is right here. Look at this big old nasty spaghetti noodle right there. So you don't really want to eat that. It won't hurt you if you eat it. People can't catch these worms from the fish. At least that's what the internet told me. I like to try and cut them out. Like this one has mostly just in this little spot in the tail and maybe one spot right here. But this one, you can see right here, I mean, it's all covered right there. So I would just cut that out, but all of this is still good meat. So and you, this one right here, Gary pulled the, the lucky one out of the water. This was a big old black drum, but this one, we ain't found a single worm in this one. But that just goes to show you. Uh, that's mostly why people don't like to keep these big ones. I don't blame them. I don't really tend to keep the giant ones. Uh, the smaller ones taste a little better anyways. But uh, just wanted to show you that. All right, so we got our slab of black drum right here, even through the throat. Thanks again, Heath. Got the throat from the black drum. We're gonna go ahead and season it up while the pit is lit. And it's getting heated up, cleaning the grill off and that, all that good stuff. We'll go ahead and season her down. I didn't go to the grocery store, so we make and do with what we got, as usual. You know the routine, it's kind of like a uh, broken record with some of the seasoning I put on here. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to start changing things up here shortly before y'all get bored with it. But the main goal today is uh, I ain't had black drum in quite a while. And my memory, if it serves me correctly, it tastes just like redfish. I mean, look at that. It looks just like redfish. So I'm gonna cook it just like a redfish and then uh, see if my memory does serve me correctly. But uh, you know, I like that Trinity, that celery, onion, and bell pepper. Uh, we put that we put that on everything, y'all. And I like to put a little heavy dose into that. Then that Cajun Creole. And then that garlic powder. If I can find it, what I did with it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Some of that garlic powder. Don't be shy. Don't be shy at all. Some of that paprika, just for some coloring. I don't even know if this stuff does any good, because like, I mean, don't taste like nothing. Everything gets better with time. And then, since I got me one of them little oregano, not oregano, what they call this? Basil. Got one of them basil plants. I'm gonna go ahead and stick some of this on there. I'll drop some basil leaves on there, see what that do. Make it look pretty, if nothing else. And then I'm gonna take some slices of this onion, right y'all? I'm gonna lay that right across the top like that. I tell you what, it looks good already. Mm-hmm. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these little pieces of butter, take me a couple of little, oops, let's get the paper off first. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna stick that in the onions. Maybe that'll hold it down for a second while it, while it melts a little bit. And since you can't have enough butter, I got melted butter all right there. That we're gonna stick this garlic in and we're gonna put that on there right towards the end. Come on out, Frank. Ooh, that's hot. All right, mm-hmm. Ooh, them knobs are hot. Good Lord. Probably gonna make a little sizzle. Ooh, baby. 
That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, we'll just let her sit and uh, come check her in a few. Cool, look at that, dude. I wonder if we had a little too, uh, check this out. Redfish don't do that. Look at the scales on this thing. That's interesting. That's like a shriveled up, look like a pork loin. All right, well, I got the butter with the garlic in it. I've also put some uh, parsley flakes and a little bit of uh, Crystal's hot sauce too. I'll go ahead and lather this thing up because it looks like all the butter done dried up already. Might have should have wrapped this thing in the uh, aluminum furrow. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Let me stick a fork in her, see if she's done. Man, that's tough. Maybe that's why nobody keeps them. That's gonna have to sit in there a while. I'll tell you what, let's wrap her in foil and let her sit there a little longer. It's been about an hour. Got it wrapped in furl. Let's uh, try and scoop it out of here without busting the furl because we might have to put it back on there. Woo, it's hot. Woo, it smells good though. Caught a whiff of it. Got some juices. Oh, we're getting there. Okay. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and do a little taste test right now. Let it cool off a little bit. But it definitely got more tender because before I couldn't even break it off. Yeah, it's starting to come apart now. It almost has a consistency of crab meat. That's interesting. Yeah, Frank, give that a try. Give me this. After years of being a fat guy, I've learned one thing. Don't burn your tongue? Yep. <laughs> You're ruining your taste buds for weeks. Got a good flavor. It's all right. I mean, uh, I think I could do a little bit better now that I know it's got to sit in there for a little bit. Yeah, it's falling apart now. Kind of, sort of, anyways. Could be better. I think we can work on that a little bit, uh, but it'll make a turd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'm going to go inside and do a podcast tonight and think of the next adventure. I got my hat.